So Chris, yeah. I wanted to start this off with like a, a feel good story, uh, considering the type of stuff yeah. that goes on in the world at the moment. And, you know, in America, yeah. it, it feels like there's a, there's a bit of an immigration issue uh, just from the outside, mm -hmm. you know, from, from news and whatnot, but you have yeah. actually a couple of really cool stories to kind of like counteract that almost. I think you have a couple of guys, um, Iran and Eduardo that, uh, yeah. that work for you. I don't know if you would like to just sort of share that story. Cause I think it's super cool. Yeah. It was, it was interesting about a month or maybe two months ago. Now somebody, um, put a one-star review on our car wash and said, there's these guys hanging around. And we said, what? Who's hanging around the car wash? And so we uh, dug into it and our attendant showed up and he said, yeah, well, there's these, these guys, they just offer to drive people's cars off. And so we weren't sure what was going on. They don't speak any English. So through Google Translate, you know, like hold up the phone, talk into the phone and then uh, go back and forth. We realized they were here from Venezuela. Uh, they were effectively homeless and they had no car or anything. Uh, they had been bussed in, you know, like so many are now. And they were just saying, please, can we help you at your car wash? And we said, well, we don't, you know, we really don't have capacity to hire anybody. But if you wanted to help detail people's cars, um, that's fine. As long as you're not aggressive with it, you can't scare people. And so we repositioned where they were. So they weren't quite so like in people's faces. They actually are positioned now when people come out of the car wash. Um, so it's not so in your face, but they're right there. And they say, you know, they just offer through sign language effectively. Can we dry your car off? And can we really, and then they, they'll do it like a full detail. And they're doing it for tips. We're not paying them anything. And the, uh, the car wash customers just just tip them out. And they are very, very happy. I'm I'm not sure how much money they're making or, or any of that. But, you know, they help us clean up the car wash a little bit too. And, and they help us keep it secure because our attendant's not able to be there all the time. But it's just turned out to be one of those things where it's a net benefit to everybody. Now our customers love them. And we've gotten actually a five-star review saying, Thank goodness these guys are here. I didn't want to dry off my car. I didn't want to wipe down the glass. And these guys did it um, for tips. So it's it's a pretty cool story. You know, I, I consider myself a patriot and this immigration thing. I think something's got to give here. We've got to fix it somehow. But it's, you know, it's easy to forget that these are re real people, you know, and they're, they're hungry and both uh, physically and emotionally hungry to to help and to become Americans. And so I don't know if we're really helping do that, but I think it's a cool story and and we love them because they're keeping our customers happy and they're helping us around the car wash a little bit. So um, I don't know what the long-term future is for these guys, but for now it's a pretty cool story.